Session 5 black using Live 4 and Reach Restream. I uh, did some research today after that little motorcycle ride I did, you know, with my uh, iPhone live streaming from my iPhone on a motorcycle. And it was so much vibration, not too good a quality. Um, so now, after doing some research on how to use the GoPro Hero Session 5 Black, because it's not set up for live streaming. Uh, you you got to have uh, like the 7 or the 8, you know, all the, the newer models. This is a 5. Um, to be able to live stream to YouTube straight from the, Go, you know, the, the YouTube app. But I'm using some special backdoor software called uh, Live 4, and I'm using a Restream account. And uh, I'll, I'll, if, this, if this works well, I'll, I'll do a review of it, maybe a how-to, a tutorial or something. But this is pretty cool. So I'm anxious to see how this looks. It's got to be so much better than a um, than an iPhone or an older iPhone like I've got. And uh, hopefully the sound quality is good. And I'm sure with the image stabilization of the GoPro, it's going to be awesome on the motorcycle. So I cannot wait. Hey, Lauren, uh, Walsh Farms, I, Kevin, I am, I am uh, live streaming from a GoPro Hero Session 5 Black. And the quality's got to be great. Cause see, here's my phone, and I've got the uh, Live 4 software going. This is Live 4, so I've got a GoPro Hero Session 5. That's the little, the little cube, you know, like I wear my motorcycle helmet. And I'm using two different softwares connected together to live stream to YouTube. It's pretty awesome. So far, it's all free, too. Um, pretty awesome baddest bees how you doing so <laughs> i'm looking here so i can have uh, the, the, this on my motorcycle and have the 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 camera on my helmet and be able to look this way and that and you'll see it and then i'll still have the connections down on my on my dash on my on my motorcycle it's gonna be awesome so and the live streaming quality has got to be great so i cannot wait because it'd be full 1080 uh, matter of fact i'm using uh 2700 uh with a 30 uh frames per second rate i can i uh, for 2700 in the linear mode. So linear mode on your GoPro cuts out the fisheye. If I went to 4K or 60 frames per second, I'd have the fisheye. And I just don't care for the fisheye. So this is in linear mode. And on the GoPro Hero Session 5 Black, the highest I can go is 2700, uh, which is still better than 1080. And uh, at 30 frames per second, it'd be in linear mode where it cuts off the fisheye. You know, I don't like the fisheye. So that's awesome. Let's go up top and let the chickens out. I haven't let the chickens out. I've been so busy today, but this is so cool that I can look down here and see what's going on. And uh, you guys are all up there in the quality. Okay, so here is the, I like to figure out how I can get up here. This is the ridge where I smoothed it out and you can see all the straw and everything. Um, and it's so far, I don't see too much erosion. I tried to get up here and uh, get the, the, stray, the straw done right. And you can see right here where I went up with the, the, the Kubota and made some ruts. And I had to go back and uh, smooth it up because uh, it just was not working right for me. So uh, let's see if I can get up here without slipping. But so far, I don't see too many erosion issues. Um, hey, Matt Payne. Good to see you, bud. So I'm using a GoPro Hero Session 5 to live stream. Uh, mobile on my phone this is so awesome I'm like super super stoked so um, somebody tell me how it looks how it sounds because right now the camera is in front of me I'm behind it you know the the GoPro's camera is in the front I don't think it has one in the back I'm not sure but tell me how the quality is the, you know um, the the blues the greens um, how it all looks how my sound is the delay isn't too bad. I mean, you know it's going to be a delay because it's going, it's uploading to the, the restream service and then getting transmitted back to YouTube. That's how they're, that's how they're getting around it. But uh, I'm up here on the ridge looking at where I smooth everything out. And I don't see too much erosion. There's, the straw is doing a real good job of keeping the erosion down. <laughs> the only erosion I see is where I tried to uh, get the... Whoa! Oh, I just slipped. Yep, it's still slippery. <laughs> Uh, you see right there where I got the Kubota uh, stuck trying to, or sliding, uh, sliding down the side of the hill when I was trying to get the straw. I was driving around the Kubota. Ooh, I'm sliding. I was driving around the Kubota trying to distribute the straw, and uh, it was too wet. So um, you can see it's not not too bad. We got a little bit of erosion, but the straw is doing a pretty good job of keeping it down. 
hope we don't get too much more rain and the beautiful bit quality in this video i think kbl texas homestead the corgills awesome good to see you sounds good and looks great awesome video audio quality is good awesome that's what i was hoping i am on a gopro session that's the little bitty cube hero 5 black and uh i am live streaming because the, the hero 5 session black has image stabilization which your phone most phones don't um so when you live stream so now I'm gonna, i'll test that out real quick let's test this out i'm going to uh jump up and down and we'll see how bad it, it bounces okay i'm jumping up and down jumping up and down yeah make fun of me laugh everybody you imagine the, the family down on the bottom of the ridge watching me on top of the hill here by the barn jumping up and down <laughs> I'm, I'm so silly all right how bad was that the demo image stabilization did it help feet uh, frames per second is slower yeah i'm using 30 frames per second if i go to 60 frames per second um i have to go down to regular hd and right now i'm at 2700 instead of 1080 so i should be at real clear quality uh but i'm in linear so it cuts off the edges so it's not um, um fish eye um, but i can go up to 60 frames per second and uh i go down to regular 1080 hd still way better my phone uh my iphone 8 only does 720 uh hd when i live stream and everything so uh i am at 2700 i'm way higher than uh 720 so that's four times right four times seven um so image quality should be three or four times better than my iphone my iphone um get it 30 frames per second with no fisheye in linear mode i see a couple pixelizations every once in a while but that's just my old gopro i've dropped it so many times probably and it's been on my helmet um i'm just curious to see what it looks like when i get back get back to the house and let this um uh publish you guys that uh have publishing that are monetized that are publishing your live streams is it, is it, is it taking a day to get them published or processed um it's taken 24 hours to process my 45 minute long to an hour videos whereas before i was monetized you know it would do it in 15 20 minutes so very very crazy okay awesome uh victoria may wallace good to see you this is so cool all right i'm gonna put this in my pocket so i quit looking at my camera or my phone and start um looking at you all so i'm going to let the chickens out here Ooh so muddy up here got the mud in front of the chicken coop it rained it stormed last night you know the sun's out now but uh, it was so stormy getting this chicken coop redone is going to be one of the next one of the next things on our our list there's the chickens there's the silver lace wine dot hey guys there's a barred rock americana rooster we got uh um what are we at here? Americanas, Bard Rock Silky Mixes, Gertie, our full Americana, Grey Mark. She's, she's broody right now, so she is in the in here with all the eggs. Oh my gosh, it's so muddy. Oh, apologize, apologize. Such a beautiful day, though. Let's go walk back to the bees where we did our work with the bees yesterday. Again, the, today's um, live is just testing this software out. I appreciate everybody. You know, I've done what, two lives today. One was on the motorcycle and this one right now just to uh, test the software getting ready for our um ridge life freedom tour 2020 visiting uh, the mid-south states i can't wait to do that let's see if there's anything in our um swarm trap up here do y'all see anything up there in it i don't see any bees up in the swarm trap we got lemongrass oil you know up there oh the bees are flying out here everybody flying 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 let's go over here and check them out see what is going on Whoo, man so fun awesome let's get over here and check these bees out i'm gonna walk up here all right the bees are starting to swarm around my head so uh i'm gonna get away from those bees hive number one is uh mean ohio those guys 
do not like me. Do not like me at all. This is hive two. Let's see if we can get closer to it without it getting, me, getting mad at me. Y'all hear them buzzing? I feel one landed on my back, so I better back up. I feel one landed on my back, so I better back up. Yep, there's one right there on the camera. Whew. Walking away slowly. Walking away slowly, everybody. Don't sting me, please, buddies. Don't sting me. Oh, one up. One's in my ear. Oh, I hear it. Close my eyes. Walking away. They'll follow you. They'll follow you for 50 yards. That the those uh, security bees, the watch, the the guard bees, they'll follow you for 50 yards till, till they run back to the the hive. Yeah, I think it's gone now. Okay. Whew. That was crazy. Let's uh let's walk back over there. Check on our swarm. Yep, I'm still still transmitting. Uh, Corgill says, "See y'all later." That's cool. Good. Simply Southern Roots. Hey, hey. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm using this new software. It's pretty cool. Um, While well, the delay isn't that bad at all. Again, it's uh, live four, uh, and I'm using the account I'm connecting to my GoPro or my YouTube account using live four is called Restream. Uh, Restream. So the live four software allows me to connect to my GoPro and then the restream allows me to kick to YouTube. I know it's kind of kind of tech tech crazy there. It took me a while to get it set up. I actually was doing it all on my phone setting it up and I went to my laptop and it made it so much easier to set it up. And then I'm using it on my phone. But I set it up on my laptop, which really made it easier. So uh this is pretty awesome, guys. I'm, I just can't wait to see the quality, but let's go walk back over here. Let's see. Kevin's got to go. No problem, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, Corgills, if you had to go to, I understand, you know, this is just a, 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 a test, test platform here to see what's going on. Um, do appreciate everybody. Um, Simply Southern Roots was in here, Trapper 400 years. Hey, 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 Victoria May Wallace, of course, you're, uh, you're new, new to me. I appreciate you being here. Uh, of course, the Payne family was in earlier. KBL Texas Homestead, my, my good buddies down in Texas. Um, so you guys are awesome. Yo, son, the Corgill said earlier. <laughs> I'm just scrolling back looking at the chat. I like this interface. This is pretty cool, guys. And I'll, see, I'll let you see what it looks like. So, this is... See the, 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 the comments at the bottom? And there's the screen. Of course, I can turn it sideways and it goes big. And then, and then the... Uh, Charles says dad joke for you. Okay. Um... <laughs> But you can see the chat is on the screen when I go widescreen. Of course, it's still recording widescreen because the GoPro here is doing the recording, not the phone. Uh, Amy McFarlane says there are some video glitches. Yes, I saw that. I saw the video glitches, and I think what that was, uh, Amy, was whenever I was on Wi-Fi on my phone, and uh, I think whenever I was going up to the ridge, it was switching from Wi-Fi to LTE. I think that's what it is because I haven't seen any glitches now. I'm oh, there was one right there. I'm gonna do the jump up and down. Yep, there's a I see I see the glitch. Yes, I do. I see the glitch. And I don't know if that's a uh my GoPro issue. Hmm, I'll we'll have to look into that. I see the glitch. Uh let me shake my phone. Yeah, see if I shake my phone. Let me shake the camera. I like that image stabilization on the camera. Okay, now I'm jumping, I'm bouncing the camera up and down. Sideways, sideways. Just test, I'm testing this everybody, that's why I hope I'm not making you sick. So this is just testing its capabilities. I saw the glitch, if I, if I the, the glitch may be, I don't know what that glitch is, I'm gonna have to, yep, I see it right there. So it, that may be the connectivity through my phone. It's the, uh, so my GoPro is connected to my phone the phone is connected to the Restream service. I'm sorry, let's back this up. My GoPro is connected to my phone via the GoPro Wi-Fi system. The GoPro signal is connected to Live 4. Live 4 is connected to Restream account, which connects to my YouTube account, which puts it on live stream. So that's that's what all this is going through. It's kind of I know it's probably going to Mars and back. You know, if Lauren, you're, if you're if you're in Mars, that's what you're seeing. Um, but yeah, I see the glitches there. I'm gonna I don't know what that's related to. I'll have to try again. I'll do some research on glitching in the, this system. Of course, I'm using a GoPro 5 to live stream. 
So I may want to try some resolution changes. May want, yep, there's a glitch. I may want to try some resolution changes, some feet, uh, frames per second changes. I got, I got some playing to do here. But this is in 2700 linear at 30 frames per second. Okay, so this is our swarm here. This is our swarm. I think we're out of we're out of sugar water here, aren't we? I want to get some more sugar water. I hear the bees around me, so I think I should walk back off. I was going to open it up a little bit, but I need to get some more sugar water. I got a bee around my ear, so I better back off. Well, that's pretty cool, everybody. Let's walk down, walk down this way. Pretty awesome. I got a bee following me right now, right behind my ear. I hear it. Let's go walk over here. See, bye, bee. See, bee. Lots of turtles in the uh, ridge pond today. Got the sun behind me. I'm sure I got a backlighting problem. Apologize for that. We'll get down here to the ridge pond. I got to do some weed eating out here. I got to do some weed eating of the ridge pond. It's starting to grow up around the edges. You see a bunch of turtles over there and there's our duckies of course they're not real ducks that's our decoy ducks they look pretty there's some big old hey, you see that rain really brought the water up it's right at the overflow and you can see the ridge barn and all the calico repairs we've done to it gotta get gotta get them done so we can get it painted awesome 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 let's walk down the down by the death hollow over here and uh, Mr. Micah McGee, the death hollow has not disappeared. The, the leveling out of the sinkhole, that was the, on the side of the ridge by the, between the barn and the farmhouse. Uh, the, the death hollow is perfectly safe, I promise. We did not get rid of the death hollow. And you can see, guys, you remember all the linear feet of 2x8s and 2x10s and 2x6s that have uh, been eaten up by termites and wood damage or uh, water damage that's a lot a lot of wood there's enough for a whole barn there that's crazy isn't it crazy 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 of course here's our fire pit wood for uh that we got by making the road to the log home build through the woods that's all wood i collected out of that uh perfect for a fire pit so uh anybody wants to give me a call about coming over and enjoying the fire pit and uh enjoying one of cold beer ranch's favorite adult beverages we can uh, we can make that happen uh john if you're in the region cold beer ranch time ridge, ridge lifestyle all right let's walk on down the ridge road here i like how cold beer ranch you know that's cold cold beer ranch cold beer cabin cold beer creek uh you know everything here is the ridge you know uh ridge barn ridge you know ridge road uh and I think we've been doing that before Cold Beer Ranch was doing Cold Beer stuff. I don't know. We have to go back and, and do the research on that. See who started doing it first. Probably happened way before Cold Beer Ranch and Ridge Life were ever in existence. People were calling the things around their homestead uh, the name of their channel. But uh, we like to think we're original and we're going to go with that. So I got some erosion back here on the Ridge Road, don't I? All right. Now. Y'all have noticed uh, my new, my email has changed on my about page. Um, it was the thiz11. Um, I went and got a Gmail email, and of course ridgelife at gmail.com was taken. So uh, the name of our farm for our honey production and everything is um, Making Ridge Farms. So our email here at ridgelife is ridgelife mrf for Making Ridge Farms at gmail.com. Ridgelife mrf one word ridgelife mrf at gmail.com so you can email us anytime you want for any questions comments if you want to get our address to send us something that will work out nicely for us logan kidder awesome it'll make a nice fire that's right buddy buckmaster outdoors hey uh-oh what's that what'd she say buffering oh you know why i'm buffering i'm walking down to the house again and it's con it's gonna it's connecting over to wi-fi that's exactly why that's doing that uh amy so once i get back up to the house and it connects fully on the Wi-Fi, it should stop doing that. But thank you, thank you for helping me test this. Well, you are jumping through a lot of hoops to get to YouTube, that's right. Uh, there is a lot of lot there, and but that's to keep me from having to buy a new GoPro Hero uh, 7 or 8. Um, I got this GoPro Hero 5, it works just fine. Um, it's small, perfect, perfectly gets sets on my helmet, I can go ride a motorcycle, and why go out and spend two, three, four, five hundred more dollars on something that works perfect for me. So, uh, using some free software, it's good old American ingenuity, isn't it? I think so. 
Ooh, I forgot to close the gate. Let's go over here and close the gate. And then we'll head up front. I'm just really curious to see how all this works. Um, uh, Baddest Bee says, had to unload some bees. Baddest Bees, you got a swarm the other day. You know, you said I was good luck for you. That was a massive swarm. I um, watched your video. I didn't get a chance to comment on it. I was watching it on my TV. And uh, you can't comment when you watch it on your TV. But when I go back to my phone, I'm going to leave a comment on there for you. But uh, awesome, Baddest Bees. Good job on that huge swarm collection. I'm glad we were good luck for you. That is a good thing. I'm going to see if I had any erosion over here. Because see, I brought a lot of that dirt down and filled in this low area here. I still have natural drainage that way, but I wanted to make it more gradual. Before, this was super, super low. And I brought some right here, cleared out all the stuff that was there. Uh, and I don't see any major, major erosion. Because we had a we had a gully washer last night. Storm, lightning, and thunder. And we got a half inch of rain just like that. And uh, I don't see that much erosion. You can see the chickens up on the side of the ridge there. That that right there is not erosion. That's where I got the Kubota stuck trying to put the hay out by uh, being the cheater method. Didn't quite work, so I had to go back and uh, do it by hand. I mean, Grandma Carol did that. She is an amazing helper. I appreciate her very much. Ah, let's see here. We're getting ready to go out and get Starla try on some new motorcycle jackets for her trip. Um, one she has, she has a real summery one and she has a real wintery one, leather jacket. We're going to get her a combo jacket to account for all seasons on this trip. That way, because we're, we're, we're on two motorcycles, we can't bring that much luggage. So she is going to uh, get something that works good for her. And uh, let's go out here. Ooh, the Bermuda grass is growing good. I need to get out here with some fertilizer. Get this green, green, green walk around out front and I'll look at my phone and see what kind of chats going on I really like the image stabilization on the GoPro um, so much better than guys um, you know we were on that motorcycle ride earlier it was so it was so bad I cannot wait to test this um, live on my motorcycle it's gonna be awesome you can see got these beautiful what are these called everybody they're they grow up all green and uh, grassy, and then they have these beautiful orange and yellow flowers. We've got them, we've got them all over the ridge. Uh, they're right here in front of the ridge farmhouse. See these? These are getting ready to bloom. I forgot what these are called. I do not remember. And of course, Starla trimmed our crepe myrtle uh, bush trees, and they're turning out really good, starting to uh, leaf out for us. You can see the one over there. I'll go ahead and walk up. But you can see the the ridge yard is turning green i got almost all the broad leaves out i got a few uh, uh odd grasses that the broad leaf uh doesn't take care of but i got one broad leaf right there one broad leaf weed oh there's two yeah we'll take care of those um gotta get the fertilizer out and we will finish up the yard oh i got a barn swallow nest i gotta take care of don't i i'll we'll sit down here in the Oh, this is the uh, Cracker Barrel chairs. Oops, sorry. Cracker Barrel rocking chairs. That was pretty cool. I just hit the GoPro and it jerked away. And I'm sure the camera moved, but I'm wondering how jumpy it was. So I'm looking here on the uh, phone. Um, see if I missed any, any conversations. Uh, is that an Irish? An Iris? An Iris or an Irish? I do not know. I am not a flower expert uh i i iris yes uh my wife just texted me said we're gonna go check her jackets out yes we are we're gonna go check them out and uh we're gonna end this this is a good test i think i hope it hope y'all enjoyed it um i do appreciate everybody uh chilling along with me um earlier it said how many people i had in here i see some glitches here i'm, I'm perfectly stationary and uh, I'm seeing some glitches still. So it must got to be in the connectivity software. I mean, it's still it's still awesome that I, I got the GoPro on. So even with the glitches, it's going to be a much better thing than um, having the iPhone on the motorcycle. So I'll still be using the iPhone a lot, apparently, for um, uh, live streaming. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, we'll see. I like it, though. Um, see here. Yeah, earlier it was saying how many people I had 
pad in here and now it's not I don't know why uh, again I'm using free software from somebody else so I do appreciate it, everybody tiger lilies uh, Amy says those are tiger lilies well thank you very much uh, hey Kevin sorry I gotta go we have to go get my wife um, check her check her out some motorcycle jackets for our tour and it's coming up quickly so uh, again I appreciate y'all Hope everyone has a uh, blessed day. Um, don't know if I'll do another live today. Uh, if I find some more stuff I need to test out, uh, maybe we'll get on the motorcycle and try this on the motorcycle. I do not know. Uh, but hopefully I'll be getting my motorcycle and we'll be able to try it out then for sure. So until then, everyone has a blessed, I hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life. Appreciate you.